So guys, if you're currently sitting on the fence deciding whether you should pick up a new vehicle now while still qualifying for the federal tax incentive or waiting out a few additional months until Hardware 5 officially drops, the truth is Hardware 5 is more than just a stepping stone upgrade. This is the chip, this is the hardware suite that's finally going to change everything and I think that this is completely worth waiting for. Late last month, during Tesla's Q2 earnings call, Elon shared several key updates, many focused on FSD and the hardware roadmap with implications for Hardware 3, Hardware 4, and those anticipating Hardware 5. Tesla provided details on the long-promised upgrade for older vehicles, the current status of self-driving, and the timeline for Hardware 5 availability. In the call, Elon highlighted that the upcoming AI5 chip will be a significant leap forward, so powerful that Tesla may need to restrict its capabilities outside of the US due to export control regulations. He has confirmed that AI5 will consume nearly three times the power of AI4, requiring a full redesign of electrical and thermal architectures making it incompatible with existing vehicles without a substantial swap of the entire system. Reports suggest that the new computer will achieve 2,000 to 2,500 tops, a massive five-fold increase from Hardware 4's currently estimated 300 tops. With this news, Elon has also confirmed in the recent days that Tesla has officially ended development of its Dojo chip projects. The company is now shifting its AI hardware focus to the next generation chips, AI5, AI6 and beyond, working with partners like TSMC and Samsung. On X, he explained that it became clear that all paths converged to AI6, requiring us to shut down Dojo and make some tough personal choices. Dojo 2 is now an evolutionary dead end and Dojo 3 arguably lives on as a large number of AI6 SOCs on a single board. As Tesla pivots to AI5 and AI6, Elon noted that AI5 is primarily built to power full self-driving, while AI6 is designed for onboard inference, autonomous capabilities in humanoid robots, and large-scale AI training. He added that it doesn't make sense for Tesla to divide its resources across two different AI chips design. AI5, AI6, and subsequent chips will be excellent for inference and training so all efforts is now focused on that. Regarding the supercomputer clusters, Elon explained that now it makes more sense to deploy as many AI5 and AI6 chips on a board, whether for inference or training, which could eventually form the future of Dojo 3. He also then emphasized that the real-world performance jump from AI4 to AI5 is greater than any chip version he's ever seen before. So with that, the closest we have to the next generation production chips we now have an idea of how powerful AI5 will be, potentially strong enough for Elon to consider replacing performance NVIDIA GPUs and Tesla's very own in-house D1 chips. Alright guys, so truthfully, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more to Hardware 5 or AI5 that we just don't know about. This chip here is a chip that was built from the ground up with autonomy in mind and seeing how far they've gotten with Hardware 3 and Hardware 4 with it being built with human driver alongside autonomy, we are now seeing a chip that is going to come standard with autonomy right from the beginning. Now ultimately, what this all means is that Hardware 5 is going to be released and it's going to be running unsupervised full self-driving on day one. And this is gonna be placed onto all future RoboTaxi flexing its capabilities and showing off what the performance differences are from the previous generations of hardware chips. Then of course, seeing that this is going to be put into the data centers and Dojo 3 and Elon saying that it is the biggest leap in performance he's ever seen in any full self-driving computer, this further adds to the confidence that this is completely worth waiting for. And if you are planning to pick up a car, now is not the time waiting a little bit longer it's going to give you the better product. Now, in other news, Tesla is preparing for a major full self-driving upgrade for hardware for vehicles later this year that promises significant performance improvements. Elon shared on X that Tesla is training a new full self-driving model with 10 times the parameter counts and major improvements to video compression losses. In the neural networks, parameters define the model's complexity and capacity. More parameters mean that the system can capture more intricate patterns and handle more complex scenarios. To put it simply, as Grok explains, with 10x parameter increase, the model can learn faster and smarter, spotting tricky paths, avoiding bumps for smoother driving, 
and reaching destinations with fewer wrong turns. And for perspective, the jump from full self-driving version 12 to version 13 brought a 3x increase in parameter counts. With this new model being 10x larger, we can expect truly substantial improvements in performance. Elon confirms that this build is likely ready for public release by the end of next month. With this build being such a large update, there is a possibility of it being called version 14 instead of just another point update. And last but not least, to reiterate the situation going on with Hardware 3 vehicles, Tesla's clarification on Hardware 3 upgrade path confirms that this upgrade is officially put on hold until true autonomy is solved. Tesla explains that offering a full upgrade path to is too complex and costly at this stage. So hardware 3 vehicles will remain on a separate branch of software until unsupervised full self-driving is solved and by that point they'll look into the situation and see what is feasible so there we have it guys just as you are on the fence as everyone else frustrated about the weight is worth to be truthful about what you really want out of this car unlike other channels that might promote you to go ahead and grab a new vehicle and while you're at it use their referral link in the description below on this channel here is nothing like that there is no referral code that there's no advertisement I honestly just want to get you the best vehicle that you can possibly buy with your money and no regrets in the future so if I was in your shoe or if I was buying a car for a family I would definitely say hold out and forget the fact that you're gonna lose $7,500 because at the end of the day when unsupervised full self-driving rolls out or a new software firmware comes out and your car is not supported you are gonna be punching the wall hoping to lose and spend that $7,500 that you should have from the beginning and get the very best car just a few months from now with the latest chips that will last you for many, many years to come. So yeah, that's just my personal take on it. But if you do decide to pick up a hardware for a car now, it's great for the company, it's great for a sales number, but you are eventually going to hit the same fate as Hardware 3. And there is a lot going down on that side of things. So you know what's going on. The hard truth is the company has shifted its focus to AI5's software and hardware development. And Elon saying that this is the biggest leap he's ever seen in the full self-driving computer. This is enough confidence for us to make the wait happen and it's just a few months off from now elon says that it is going to start either the end of this month or early next year so a few more additional months to get the best product i think that is the best deal you can get but regardless of all of that i will continue to keep my eyes out for everything that comes up regarding this and any future chips if you guys want to stick around, I would love it if you guys click that subscribe and that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And then follow me on X at Hey Johnny. You will see things over there you can't see over here. And you can chat with me anytime and I'll respond as quickly as possible. Anyways, this should be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.